Hey! Here is the house part. Today I want to share an incredible love story with you. Crazy story. The Swedish Janet met the Southern Thai Sulai more than 30 years ago on Pippi Island. They fell deeply in love, but life had another plan for them back then. And then I actually got pregnant. I want the children. They, they could not accept that Sulai came to Sweden. 23 years later, they meet again. And I finished it and black and my daughter. I have to live my life now and here. I have only one life. This story even made it to the Swedish national television. I feel I want to live. I fight it. Get ready to shed some tears with us and enjoy the show with Sweet Life Lanta. Well, my name is Janet. I'm from the really north of Sweden. So I live close to the Arctic Circle and have the northern light and minus 30. I've been living there all my life, except for a short period of time when I was 22 years old. I lived on PP Island. Where I met. For me, the tropical island of PP was it was the most beautiful place I ever seen, and uh, it was magical. This is 1992. Mm. I met a jungle boy and he was so beautiful um, and uh, we saw each other and uh, I think it was one day later when I have seen him in the tree where he were re relaxing uh, I asked him to come and talk to us he came and sat next to us and and then I realized he cannot speak English. He <laughs> couldn't say anything. Just like, hello, and where you go? <laughs> and, uh, but we start playing volleyball in the afternoon, and he hang out with the Swedish diving group. He had never, like, brushed his teeth. So he had, like, you know, when the, you have stones, the stone, and I have had uh, animals all my life, horses and dogs, and you always pick them out. So one day I took his head and put it in my knee and I picked out the stone. And his white smile after that was magic. And in that moment I fell in love with him because he lying in my knee and looking me in the eyes. So, and Sulai's story is a little bit different. <laughs> <laughs> What makes you fall in love with her? Do you know? It, if, uh, I, it, in my life, I want to find each good person for my heart. Only this. Maybe one month or two months after, I was actually going home but I didn't want to go home so I thinking how can I stay longer second hand long tail boat with an engine that you started like an old tractor and we started driving tourists uh, for snorkeling trips and uh, this boat was so old so when we put it in the water the water like came in i had to sit and do like this if we went out with tourists i was the one scooping out the water yes seven months i stayed on pp island with sulai and we were super in love and had difficulties with the language as we have now also but uh, didn't matter you we find someone who could explain and we could like see I could see on him if something was wrong or 
like you read the body language and what it was like a non-verbal relationship we could like understand each other anyway nothing ever felt this good or as easy as when we were young oh, 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 oh. though i felt misunderstood it was a pleasure running away with you lang jang ka kwai pom me ko yak rap yak ai sonet lop and then i actually got pregnant and uh, i had promised my mother to come home so it uh, i want the children with her yeah i want and uh, i leave so lie with this sign and say i will come back and this for me meant that i love you from this way around the universe and back so there is no air between that i don't love you but he thought i meant i love you little bit then what i can i do and then i come back sad a little bit when he coming back we were really sad and i went home i think i cried for two weeks and i also did an abortion in sweden um, which was the right decision it is not not the right time it is 22 years old they they could not accept that sulai came to sweden because i wanted him to come but they said absolutely no we were just children acting like a doll And they didn't want me to go back either because I needed to continue my journey for university and everything and find a good job. So I listened to them and I thought, yeah, maybe they're right. What can I do on PP Island forever with no money and no education? And so I put everything in a in a envelope and I closed it and I continued my life. He told me he come back. And I told you, you come back, I, um, uh, I'm waiting. Yeah, I'm waiting five years. You don't come back. <laughs> I lose the contact. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, it was like a magic story. Like, and then I decided my life have to move on to the, in the Swedish box. I have to follow the rules. Uh, here is the kitchen going to be. The kitchen with the sink and water tap and the rainwater from the front of the boat coming in this tube and going in the sink if we want or down to a tank that's under the floor one gin and tonic please oh yeah let yeah. me give it to you there you go oh thank you <laughs> yeah oh <what laughs> lovely boat trip Hello, Sulai. You've been building all of this. My kikang. My kikang. You want to finish. <laughs> so do you also help building? Yeah, I do. I want to build because I like it. But we don't have really the good tools. And uh, we have a saw that you, you know, you have to almost be a very stubborn man to use it so i don't i helping and reaching stuff and it's all from can you give me that one or you can give me knives or and it can be a knife or a nail i never know so i looking for things and i give him okay yeah. <laughs> sula where, where did you learn i know you're a fisherman you can uh, operate a boat but where did you learn how to build like this no i never been in like this i never been the how also the how I never been, but this uh, binning is the first time is my binning. Really? Yeah. Your first time building in your life? In my life. Oh. 
Yeah, the project uh, uh, started in my head when we were on Riley with my daughter climbing and I met a lady who was 50 plus and I told her we're sleeping in our normal long tail and she said oh I would die to sleep on a boat and from that moment we start thinking maybe we could have a boat and maybe some tourist can come and sleep on the boat I mean sleeping under the stars see the magic of the plankton it's like a northern light in but in the water so that was like the start thinking about it and then two months later some guy came and said he know a really good boat and so I went to look at it and he was like crazy he said we need this boat this boat is the one I mean for me I think this is a dream you yeah. know you you explain Very it to me dream. and my eyes go like yeah oh my god I want to sleep on this boat yeah. I want to see the stars I want to yeah. sail around the whole uh, Andaman Sea, like yeah. you, you, you don't need to sell this thing, you know. No. Just, <laughs> no. Just, just, just let's book it, you know. Yeah, yeah. What do you think? Is it like an unbelievable project? Yes. Yeah. I hope it will work. And now we want tourists to come back. Oh, long jack say happy. By then, Bob, Italy and Le Corapura Conmayan. I got two children. I had a really happy relationship with a man for 14 and a half years. Um, and uh, I had a, I just continued my life and I became an engineer and and so on. Italy. Italy, you are six strong P. That was got six strong P. Annan, the me Panayo, you can. โดยโบเด็กงานนั้นหกปีแล้วก็ออกจากกันเนี่ยสั้นๆนะแต่เดี๋ยวออกจากกันพอออกจากกันเสร็จแล้วก็ปุ่มไปอยู่หกปีคน
And in February 2015, she sent me this picture. And it was like, now my life will turn around. So my daughter, and I finished it and look like I'm my daughter. This is almost exactly 23 years later that we get contact through my daughter. Okay, but I feel that one uh, Sana is my daughter. It's indeed. From that moment. That moment. When I visit me. Hello emotions. Hello again. Is every ocean come as rain? And I think it took like three weeks and then I'm booking a ticket and we meet in Krabi Airport. I am waiting for him. He, he don't come. He said he was going to come. It's so I'm sitting with my bag, looking down, packing something, and then I see his feet. So cool. <laughs> <laughs> so I lift up and we our eyes meet and we hug each other and that was like coming home it felt like we never been apart even though we changed and we got older and but it was the same feeling Right away. So I had three week holiday there. And I'll be coming home. And during this time, he's he decides I want to move with you to Sweden. It's you and me. And the first week we go to my cottage in the mountains, he driving snowmobile on the lake and he experienced everything the first year was really enjoyable for him and different and uh, and then uh, it started to getting like more heavy for him to go to school and uh, learn Swedish. <laughs> It was really hard for him. He get a little bit angry, you know, when he get cold, he cannot survive, he cannot go out and stay all the time in home. Men nu har de gjort det. Välkomna hit båda två. Tack, det är så tack. roligt att ha er här. Ja, uh, Om du tar oss med ja. tillbaka till, till Pippiön eller ja. Pippi Islands då. Jajamän. Hej Sanna! <laughs> Hör du, Sanna, berätta, hur, hur gick det till när du träffade Sulai första gången? Eh, ja, det var... Oj! Eh, första gången, det var ju känslosamt. <laughs> Then you met again after 23 years. What yeah. did you feel when you saw Jeanette? I've been happy when I met uh, Jeanette. 23 uh, later. Did you still feel yeah, the I've love Yeah, I've been happy. Her? Yeah, I'll feel love until 23 years ago <laughs> when you leave <laughs> me. And you're born in Luleå? Yeah. What yeah. do you think about Luleå? Um, yeah, I think... It's like Pippi Island? <laughs> same climate? It's the same, but yeah. <laughs> but different. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, Sipen, a, a little bit of Sipen, but because it's from here, it's too cold yeah. for me. I understand him now. Because if I'm sitting with his family, to listen when they talk for a long time, it's impossible. You cannot take in. And you don't follow the funny stuff and you feel outside. I feel I want to leave. I'm fighting. I'm fighting. I want to leave there. But I cannot fight it. It's cold. <laughs> After a couple of years, my, my, my children told me, you cannot have it like this. He doesn't feel good. And I could see it, but I didn't want to realize it. And they say, please move to Thailand. You can live there, but he cannot live here. He cannot live in Sweden. He's, he will die. He will not be Sulai anymore. I had to give up a lot. I had 
three horses, two dogs, a big farm, and uh, I rented out my house the first one and a half year, and now I have sold everything. And the thing that made me take this decision, because I'm I'm not old, I don't I don't get any pension, or I need to survive in Thailand. And as a Swedish person, you have to planning and put everything in a box. Uh, because my mother died before she could live the life of a, a pensioner. She got lung cancer and that's not fair when you're 68. So I decided I have to live my life now and here. I have only one life. If I haven't tried, I don't know. So I try and we're still in Thailand. It's three years now. When Shanette uh, is not coming back, and uh, this is my mother before you die he told only one word don't forget this sonnet it my mom he told me and then i never forget and until now never forget it's my love i feel like you you guys like living a, a dream yeah. I mean, it's not a dream in real life because you have so many problems and mm. there's money and of mm. course it's not, but it's kind of like a dream. Yeah, it's a, it's a fun experience. It's an adventure. It's a, a dream, but we're doing stuff and we will, the goal is to survive and have a nice life. Right. And have fun. Another story of it going again in the front. Right. That you never know in tomorrow what's happening and happy body this same no you don't know and one minute later you don't know what's happened nobody know only love when you have together big time right. thank you hello my heart beats hello again between the we head for land I will be fighting to hold the line We're never hiding, we never lie